Most Holy Father, the English-speaking pilgrims and visitors wish to express to you their deep sentiments of respect and esteem and to assure you of their prayers for your ministry as the successor of St. Peter. At the end of the audience, we will sing together the Our Father in Latin. His Holiness will then impart his apostolic blessing, which he extends in a particular way to the members of your families at home. He also intends to bless any religious articles you may have brought for this purpose. And in a special way, his blessing goes to your children, the elderly, and to those who are sick. The following is a summary of the Holy Father's catechesis at the beginning of the audience. Dear brothers and sisters, during my recent apostolic journey to Portugal for the celebration of World Youth Day, I witnessed a moving demonstration of the presence of the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the risen Christ, at work in the hearts and lives of many young Christians throughout the world. Following the example of Mary, who set out in haste after the Annunciation, the young pilgrims expressed their desire to set out towards the future of hope promised by the gospel. The encounter of so many young people from different countries, all united by the love of Christ and the joy of the Spirit, reflected the face of the Church as the people of God, to which everyone, in every place and time, is called to belong. In a world torn by poverty, injustice, and war, we joined in prayer for the spread of the gospel, the conversion of hearts, and the healing and peace that the Lord alone can give. In this spirit, I also went as a pilgrim to Fatima, where I renewed the act of consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. May this great outpouring of spiritual joy and love for Christ that marked these days foster an abundance of vocations and serve as a leaven of hope for the future of Portugal, the Church, and our world.
الرسل والأنبياء والشهداء والمعترفين اقبله يا رب لأجل الكنيسة المقدسة الجامعة في كل مكان لأجل أبائنا مار